Hello there. We have here a dead dehumidifier. It's uh, got a refrigerant leak. One of several I've had. Uh, it's not valuable enough to really be worth fixing. So I decided to do some experimenting with it to see how uh, fussy refrigeration service really is. Uh, begin with, uh, to verify that it really is a refrigerant leak, I ran the unit, ran it until the compressor kicked on. Of course, I put my hand on the compressor to figure out if it's really running. And then I can touch the evaporator coils. They should be cool. Uh, so they were warm all the way down to where the refrigerant enters. The capillary tube was warm, but it was cold where the, the beginning of the capillary tube is. So it must have had just drops of refrigerant left in it. So I can proceed with my little experiment. Uh, no access to the system because there's a charging tube and it's been crimped off and soldered so there's no valve so I've got to add something. So what I did was take a valve from an old tire, an old inner tube, stripped the rubber off and brazed it onto the suction line. Then I ran a sixteenth inch drill bit through the, uh, the old valve core and uh, pierced the suction line. At that point, I hooked up a tire chuck, such as that, uh, to my propane tank. Uh, did it to the hot, full pressure side, not, not the regulated pressure, but full tank pressure. Uh, I filled the system with uh, propane. Uh, I made no attempt to vac evacuate the system. No vacuum pump, no service gauges, no valves, no nothing. Uh, so then I've got the a contaminating refrigerant in here about an eighth because the tank pressure on the propane is about eight times atmospheric. Uh, and then I run the compressor for a few moments to uh, mix the gases. Uh, when that's mixed, I shut the compressor off. I bleed it back down. Now I've got uh, gas in here at uh, atmospheric pressure. It's an eighth old refrigerant and seven-eighths propane. Now I refill it with propane like I did before, again run it for a few moments, and again bleed it down. Now my contaminating gas is not an eighth, but an eighth of an eighth, or sixty-fourth. And then I repeat the process once or twice more. So now I've got down, I've got my contaminating gas down to like one part in four thousand. At that point, I uh, go ahead and uh, run the compressor, keep it on, and start putting in propane. I put in propane until I can just feel chill on the suction side. Uh, and then I stop. Now I've still got some uh, contaminating gas in here, so I've got condensable, non-condensables in the condenser. However, it's like one part in 4,000. And if I recall Dalton's law of partial pressures correctly, the increased load on the compressor is going to be zip. Uh, also, there's the question of, is the uh, capillary tube the right size with propane? Well, probably not. The propane's got different pressures, it's got different latent heat, uh, probably different viscosity. But in the uh, spirit of the experiment, we're not going to worry about that. So anyway, uh, ran it. How does it work? Well, it collects water just fine. It uh, fills its little bucket about every 10 hours. Uh, the current draw is no more than it was, maybe just a little bit less. Uh, works just fine. However, of course, I haven't fixed the leak. Well, the plan on the leak was, I'm expecting the leak to be a little greater than it was because the molecular weight of propane is less than R410. So, the plan was, I've got some uh, uh, fluorescent oil, got off eBay. Got a little UV flashlight I got off eBay. The plan is to put the fluorescent dye in the system uh, and then let it leak down a little bit and maybe I can find the leak. And I thought about putting in some stop leak. Well, it quit leaking. Uh, it's ran several months now, 
fill this little bucket every day, no problems at all. So that's the question, why, uh, why not use propane for a refrigerant? Well, obviously it's flammable. Uh, but keeping everything in perspective, there's about five ounces of propane in here. And uh, here I've got this uh, can of spray paint, like many people probably have. And what's it got in it? It's got acetone, toluene, propane, butane, etc. And that's pretty flammable too. And how many of us have one of these around? That said, I'm not going to put this thing next to my water heater. Uh, but it is out in the shop. Been working just great. Uh, so the experiment was a success.